Okay. And go. Young adults and voting rights. I think young adults at the age of 15 and up sh sh should have the right to vote freely, to choose who the president should be of the United States. They should have a right at a young age to choose the right, individu right individual to be president. This allows young adults to understand what's happening in the world government today. First of all, it will be affected by the law at a young age because that's what politics is about. It's about the understanding of laws and how they're regulated, passed and chosen from citizens or states or just the country itself. I think young adults should get the right to vote for president and laws. This allows young adults to understand how laws are being passed in the political world and how they affect them if they vote. The effect the law has on a citizen is <clears throat> critical to their understanding why it is like that voting for certain laws will allow them to realize what's going on in the government and politics. Next, this puts young adults in a state of mind where they have to think about possibilities of politics and voting. They will learn at a young age about politics and consume all the information about voting rights and learning how it all works. They should get the right to vote because it is critical to citizens and the political system. Voting allows them to see who has chosen their favorite president of their liking. Yet also young adults who want to vote should have good grades to show them they are educated about politics and other classes they take. They should learn about what president's running for and see if the president they want is the right one and what kind of laws they want to be put out there in the world. If young adults are well educated enough, they should know who, who should run the country. If so, then they can choose the right for the president for the whole country. The young adults today are more mature than they used to be back. Then between 60s, 70s, and 90s, young adults were not as mature as they are today. They weren't as well educated enough about the government and politi politics and students are today. Voting will make them understand the importance of why it is critical to their w way of being a part of the government. Voting for president will affect the generation of the young adults and his or her kids in the long run. Okay. Restart it. <laughs> I am proposing the 28th Amendment of the Constitution of the United States. The amendment that I am proposing is taking away the 16th Amendment. That is to remove the feds from collecting income tax. I think that the state should collect the income tax because since the money is already in our state, I believe that we should use it for um, advancements, upgrades for our state. Um, Employees work in our state, so why should the feds touch the money anyways? Um, we can use the money for advancements, upgrades, road work, or anything that the state needs. And by states collecting income tax instead of the feds, the specific state can use the money for any upgrades. <laughs> Employers are giving employees an income, so the money shouldn't even leave our state. If there are employers, if there are no employers and there's no income tax coming in, there are no employers, so there's no money coming in. <laughs> um, another reason why I think that the state should be the ones collecting the income tax is because it's in our state anyway, so I think that the money should never leave and it should help out our state. I think I'm, how long was that? Go. All right, my amendment will change the Fifth Amendment to restate eminent domain. It will make the limitations more strict on what the government can take for land and what they can use for it. Um, it is wrong because America is built on freedom on, of owning land and without worrying about it being taken away from them. Eminent domain is unfair because no matter the compensation, the time, money, hard work that people put into their businesses and their homes means more than money to them. My amendment will make the limitations to eminent domain. It will be in bill format, so the vote will start in the community. They will vote on whether or not the, like a roadway or a farm will be bought and it'll be a community vote, and then if that passes, it'll be moved on to the state. The state will do a vote, and then the governor will have to sign the bill. 
and then they have permission to do the roadway or buy a farm from somewhere to to put an interstate through it. Um, and for public places like libraries, schools, or anything else, it's they're not allowed to buy property. That, it's that's not fair. I think they should be able to find their own land. My amendment uh, is on the separation of church and state and the right to marriage. Religious fractions ha have, shall have no influence or power over the government and the ability to control who can marry, and in doing so, where the people are guided and governed by the people, not religion, the statement, the separation of church and state, shall be enforced and maintained. Any validation of, for opinion set in religious beliefs must be accompanied by other logically influenced reasoning. Religion is a personal freedom and should not infringe on any other's decision as any infringement would be unconstitutional against any individual. Marriage for all people of the United States would not only be enforced by the idea of the Declaration of Independence, but all men have the right to liberty, or excuse me, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, but show in the modern age we, the people who have, been, who have believed we have long been a prime example to other nations, have moved past segregation and are actively participating in the ideal of having all equal in every condition presented. My amendment is the amendment to ensure that all children who are citizens of the United States have the right to free and adequate education. My first reason would be citizens should have free education for many reasons such as they're going to have to pay bills once they become an adult and they're going to have to know how to work and what proper knowledge they need. Um, with one in two almost Americans being homeless or unable to pay taxes. This would help a lot of citizens be able to overcome this with being able to get adequate jobs once they get out of education and having the right knowledge to get those jobs. There would also be no difference between poor and rich communities and low er income areas where everyone would have an equal chance to education and this would just keep continuing. Um, why support this? Because everyone needs this education and a chance to make a job and a good income. I guess that's it. How long? Was it? Um, I am reamending the fourth. Um, for personal privacy, will be limited to ensure all citizens are safe in all public areas. Um, why people should support it is the reason for reamending the Fourth Amendment is because when the Constitution was wrote, privacy was totally different than it is today. So I'm just updating the Fourth to fit into today. Um, and I don't think that anybody would not agree with it because we are updating it. Should I go slower so it makes it longer? Go. All right. My amendment is changing the third. And in simple terms, the third is that soldiers have a right to come into your house. And well, you have the right to kick soldiers out of your house during both war and non-war times. I believe that we should, now I'm going to clarify this, and then I'm going to change it. It should be clarified because this counts for both war and non-war times. So that would mean that soldiers can come in your house at any point in time. I believe that during non-war times, they shouldn't be able to, but during war, they should be able to have a nice bed to sleep in during all this. I think it should be changed in different ways. Uh, I believe that during the war times, that they should be able to come into your house only if they're willing to offer some sort of benefit to your household, and whether or not the residents want them there or not. People that would probably support this would probably be the patriotic or maybe just even the people that don't want the war, war in their backyard. Uh, let's see here. This. Uh, would I be able to restart that anyway? I just kind of bounced it around. No. All right. Well, yeah, I'll send it there. 
My amendment is to repeal the 14th Amendment, which gives birthright citizenship even to people born of illegal immigrants. I want this repealed because birthright citizenship allows illegal immigrants to come over, have a child in the U.S., and then automatically the child and the parents of that immigrant are legal citizens. Um, also, these families often go on welfare, and American taxpayers, middle-class families, have to pay to support the welfare for those illegal families, and I don't think that should be legal. And it also causes more debt for the USA because these families enroll in a lot of government programs such as welfare in order to get money from the government. And also this amendment takes away rightful jobs of citizens because the immigrants are often willing to work for cheaper than just a regular US citizen. And another reason why I want this to be repealed is because it's not fair to the legal immigrants who have to take the citizenship test in order to enter the country. These citizens enter the country often with no idea how America is and they don't, they don't know anything about America. And you can't really function in a society you know nothing about and it's not fair to the hundreds of thousands of immigrants that have to take the citizenship test every year. And all in all, birthright citizenship makes it illegal, or makes it legal for illegal immigrants to enter the country in, in order to have an anchor baby, which makes members of their whole family American citizens. My amendment is having presidents only being elected for one term of four years. The reason why I think presidents should only be in office for four years is because other candidates have better ideas than the present president, uh, ideas that can help push the country to a more positive structure. The second main reason is a change to the White House because if the president makes, president makes a huge mistake and did something bad to this country, the citizen of this country don't have to worry about the president being elected again. The people that may go against this democratic, uh, against this are the Democratic and Republican parties because those parties don't get a big chance to show what good about their party is.